I think there are many ways that uh, various community members can, can help make Chainlink into a, a more widely adopted and secure standard. If they're technical, they can help us build Chainlink. If they're creators of various DeFi applications that are using Chainlink, they can give us feedback. If there's someone in a bank or in a capital markets role or in asset managers, they can give us feedback and uh, help us improve Chainlink in a technical way. Uh, I think there's a lot of non-technical things that community members can do. They can join the Developer Advocates Program. Um, some of them that are on the way to becoming more technical can join the Developer Experts Program and, and help developers understand more things through various forms of education. I think we can also greatly benefit from various educational materials for the average consumer, so they understand the value of verifiable applications, they understand the value and importance of decentralized computing, smart contracts, and so on. The community has done a great job in educating uh, various consumers, the industry, DeFi applications about the importance of security and the unique properties of the Chainlink network and why those properties are better and more secure than other systems that claim to be secure but aren't. So I think that's been very helpful. I think generally an understanding of the complexity that it, uh, that it entails to create secure, reliable systems and the timelines for that, and that our goal is to create uh, truly secure, reliable systems that can process trillions of dollars in transaction value as they already have over the long term, um, and an understanding that that will take time, and maybe even explaining that to other people that our goal is not you know, just to ship features or just to ship things in, in the Chainlink community. It is to ship uh, reliable, secure systems that are decentralized and can properly secure value uh, through data, compute, and cross-chain connectivity. Uh, and kind of an, an understanding that the security of the system doesn't get built overnight, that there's various ways to make it clear to people and be positive about the unique properties of the Chainlink system and that those properties are hard, hard won and uh, difficult to make and take time and are resilient over time and through various uh, de outages on chains and various attacks and all, all kinds of other things that affect other infrastructure but don't affect the Chainlink network. Um, so I think a, a general uh, view of how can I help build the Chainlink system technically how can I help uh, educate various technical and non-technical users uh, a certain amount of positivity and patience about uh, what it takes to make a secure system and that this is about creating a secure, reliable, decentralized system and also participating in the security in various, various other ways like staking or being a node operator. Um, there's many, many ways that uh, community members can participate and um, we put on SmartCon and we make lots of meetups and we generate a lot of content and we, we make a lot of different spaces in which community members can meet and discuss and join together to basically push the verifiable web uh, forward. One of the main ways is also creating an understanding among other crypto community members and non-crypto community members about the importance of Chainlink's decentralized security, about the importance of being a verifiable application that relies on reliable data from Oracle networks that are truly decentralized and compute that's decentralized and cross-chain that's decentralized, and generally just a sense of positivity and patience with what it takes to create a, a reliable, decentralized, secure system that can process hundreds of trillions of dollars in transaction value. So these are, these are the main things.